Hello guys, today we will learn about real chest. As all of you know that uh, it is an emergency condition and results from the trauma. So usually uh, the cause of injury is blunt trauma which is associated with multiple rib fractures. So in this way if the person hits a chest on the steering and if the rib is fractured it may lead to flail chest so by definition some books say two some books say three or more ribs fractured at two or more places so if you want to quote some book quote belly and love and say three or more ribs so because 27th edition says this and the diagnosis is purely clinical to confirm the diagnosis, the chest wall is observed for paradoxical respiration. So before moving forward, so before moving forward, I want to show you what is the paradoxical respiration. So let us see one video for this. So if you can see, this is the flail segment and the flail chest, and this is moving in opposite direction of the rest of the rib. So let us move to the lecture now. Okay, so it can be minor flail chest in which the segment is small and there is no ABG alteration. So this patient was, you can say, having a small segment flail chest. And the major flail chest is when the segment is large and there is ABG alteration. The usual association is, obviously you know by now, is significant blood trauma and the inspiration is paradoxical this happens as you have seen in the video one segment goes out and one or you can say rest of the chest goes in so in inspiration less air moving in the lungs so the loose segment of the chest wall displays inward and in expiration the segment moves outwards that is the respiration is paradoxical the treatment is analgesics, ABG monitoring oxygen if required, chest physiotherapy, chest tube if there is pneumo or hydrothorax or effusion. So the chest tube is obviously not to be inserted to the flail segment. It should be either above or below it. Intubation and positive ventilation may be required depending on the patient condition so mechanical ventilation traditionally mechanical ventilation was simply used to internally split the chest but had a price in terms of intensive care unit because obviously you have to monitor the patient patient should be in the ICU and the ventilation dependent morbidity was also there so current treatment is oxygen opioids and physiotherapy opioids is not exactly opioids the main thing is anest uh, analgesia which is, the, which is required so we mostly use opioids because usually patient do not respond to other painkillers if the trauma is significant so ventilation is reserved for the cases developing respiratory failure despite adequate analgesia and oxygen so voluntary splinting of chest wall occurs in flail chest which is resulting from the pain in this mechanically impaired chest wall movement is there and associated lung contusion which contribute to the hypoxia and the risk of developing a pneumothorax or hemothorax is very high if you talk about the gold standard investigation for the diagnosis of layer chest i would say it is ct scan with contrast to display the vascular structure and a possible a 3d reconstruction of the chest wall. If a chest tube is in C2, the topical intraopular local anesthetic or analgesia can be used via the chest tube. So it will help in pain relief. Maybe surgery to stabilize the fill segment using internal fixation can be done in selected group of patients with isolated or severe chest injury and pulmonary contusion 
थैंक यू सो मच इफ एनी क्वेश्चंस राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स